Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad and welcome back to the Space Engineer's Beginner's Guide. Today we're going into space. Let's prepare to launch. What the hell? If you like the look of this sort of thing, I highly recommend you go and check out Black Armor. Look up Black Armor on YouTube and you'll see some of these amazing builds that he does. And you can download and play with them yourself. Absolutely terrifying. That's the Sentinel. Love it. So before we head to space, there's some things that we need to do to our ship. Firstly, we're going to need to make sure we've got plenty of ice to keep our tanks full when we're using the hydrogen thrusters. Now, these atmospheric thrusters will only get us so far, then we'll be switching over to hydrogen. What happens if we do run out of hydrogen and we're on our way back down? Well, we use what we've got on the drop pod. And there it is right there. It's a parachute. So I'm going to put a couple of parachutes and show you how to set those up so that they automatically deploy when they get into the atmosphere. So let's start by checking our ice level. I'm going to go into the side here, magic square, and type in ice. And we don't have a lot. We're going to need some more of that. There we go, so we've got nine, what's that, about 16, 17 kilos nearly of ice, so that should be good. But the next thing I'm going to do is add these parachutes. So in the G menu, I'm going to look up parachute, I'm going to drop that into number six. And then I'm going to place one on the front here and another one on the back to balance it out. Now if we have a look at the parachute, there we go, you can see there is a port on it, which is what we'll use to add the canvas that we need for the parachutes. It doesn't matter which way around these go. We just really need access to that port. We'll do there, and we'll have another one on the back here. In the middle, because it does balance. Right there. All right, now we need some canvas. Now what it'll use, on these small ones, it uses one canvas per go. So you can put more than one in if for some reason you detach the parachutes and want to redeploy them. So I'm going to go into production canvas and I'm going to make, make 10 of those. Canvas, there we are. Drag that over. And in this one, I can just see it there. I'm going to right drag so I can tell it how many I want to transfer. Five. And then this one. Drag the other five in. So let's go in the cockpit and set those up. So in the K menu, let's look for parachutes. I'm going to group the two together so I can control them both at the same time. So clicks on the first one, control on the second one. Just call these shoots. And then further down the list here. What I want to do is I want to get them to automatically deploy when they get to a certain height. Now, a thousand meters is pretty high up. So I'm going to say about 500, 500 meters for them to deploy. Now, here's a little tip for you, a tall man's top tip. Instead of dragging this and trying to get it to the number you want it on, 500, it's a bit fiddly. A quick way of doing this is just to hold control and tap on it, then you can just type in the number that you want. And that's useful in a lot of cases when you're managing things in your control panel. So auto deploy at 500. Now the problem with that is that as soon as I take off from the ground with that switched on, it's gonna deploy the parachutes. So what I need to do is turn off the parachutes in general until I'm on my way back to earth, then turn them back on. That's something obviously you need to remember to do. So I'll come out of there. If I go into the G menu and groups, there's our parachutes. I'm going to pull that down into, uh, let's have it in seven. And what I want to do is to toggle the block on and off. So I've got it set now, so it'll auto deploy. But if I turn the parachutes off altogether, they can't deploy. So then when I turn them on, then they can auto deploy when they're ready. So I'm going to toggle the block off with that button. And it also means that when I'm looking at it, I can see 
that they are on so I know they are ready to auto deploy. So if I tap seven, I'll come out of there, sorry. If I tap seven now, they're off so they won't auto deploy. So on the way back down from being in space, I will tap seven at some point if I can remember, then they will auto deploy. Well, I think we're pretty much ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the atmospheric engines because I'm going to use those at the start to get us up there. Then I'm going to unlock the landing gear. And then when we're ready, it's space. And we'll start going up. Now it does take a while to get up there. and I might cut some of the video short. Here we go into space. Three, two, one. And we're off. 30 meters a second, 40, 50 meters a second, 60, 70. Now maximum speed without any mods is 99 meters a second. So I've hit the maximum speed, but I'm still pressing the space bar to keep that on. If I let go, we're going to start slowing down. While we're doing this, I'm going to turn off my dampeners. So with the Z button, so there's no resistance from the ship trying to push us back down, particularly when we turn the hydrogen engines on, because we have some downward um, thrusting engines on the top, or jets on the top of the ship. So we're at max speed. If I let go of the space bar, we start to slow, and then space again gets us going. If I look down at the respawn pod I can see we are 5.7 kilometers off the ground and we're starting to lose thrust so now we need to turn on the hydrogen engines so I'm going to hit one now when we hit the space bar the hydrogen engines are the ones that are pushing us up And there we can see there from the the hood that we are at 8,000 meters. Now on the hot bar at the bottom there on the right hand side you can see A gravity and P gravity. Now the planet gravity there, I think that's what the P stands for, you know, I'm not sure. Now the P gravity is the gravity that we're in at the minute and we're on 0.72. Jeez, now on the surface of the planet it's 1.72. So we're almost at almost at half gravity. But now we're losing gravity. If I let go of the space bar, you can see we are still slowing, but we don't slow as quickly. So if I want to, I can just keep tapping the space bar to put the full burn on. And while I'm doing that, if you look to the bottom right of the screen, you can see the hydrogen level goes down. Then when I let go of space, it's going back up. But we're still traveling at quite a speed. 92, 87, again, straight up to 99. We've got a little bouncing act going on. Now on the bottom left of the screen, my helmet indicator there is showing that my helmet's open, but that's okay because I'm actually in the cockpit. But what I'm going to do is press J now to close the helmet because when I get out of the ship, I don't want to suddenly start suffocating. So we're at point 0.4 gravity now. I'm just tapping the space bar every now and then. Let's have a look. Got a nice overview of our planet and where we are. Snowy mountains behind us and there's a nice looking lake there. Just nuzzled in those mountains, that'd be a great spot for a base. Another lake just there. So I'll take this chance to say thanks very much for all the people that have been watching these videos and thank you very much to the people that have taken the time to give it a like. It's, uh, that's been really, really uh, uplifting for me. It's quite a boost to see that some people are enjoying it. And yeah, I really appreciate you hitting the thumbs up. That's very kind of you. So we've still got a little way to go. We're at point 0.2 gravity. But now I barely need to touch the space bar because it's hardly slowing down when I let go. And you can see now our hydrogen on the right hand side, the tanks are managing to stay pretty much full. 0.18. 0.19. 0.20. 0.21. 0.22. 0.23. 0.24. 0.25. 0.26. 0.27. 0.28. 0.29. 0.30. 0.31. 0.32. 0.33. 0.34. 0.35. 0.36. 0.37. 
And we're 25 kilometers off the surface. Oh, now you can see some planets there, but we can also see some asteroids. There's one just above us. Just there. Hopefully we're not going to hit that. I don't think we will. Quite one through gravity. Still a little way to go. Okay, point one of the gravity. And we are 32 kilometers. It's going to be roughly 40, 42 kilometers to get completely out of the gravity. 38 kilometers, point zero six. And any minute now, we'll be out of the gravity. Point zero five. And there's 42 kilometers coming up, so let's see how close it was with the guess. 42.4. There it is. And it hits Z. And there you can see the thrusters on the top slowing us down. We are now in zero gravity. And we've stopped moving. And we're approximately 43 kilometers above our base. So let's get out and have a look around. Hit F to jump out. I'll make sure I've got my jetpack on with X. And my suit dampeners are on as well, so I don't go flying off. And there we go, there's our ship. So while we're up here, let's have a quick look at one of these asteroids and see if we can pick up anything with the ore detector, just in case it's got anything interesting that we want to mine. We go outside we get a, a better idea of the size of this thing almost touching it there there look at that so that's pretty big now inside of most of these there is an ore sometimes three different ores so I'm just having a Quick scout around just to see if we pick up any nice ores. In particular, the things we're looking for when we're in space is, well, ice is handy in case you need to refill while you're out and about, but also uranium and uh, platinum. Platinum and uranium are quite hard to find. You can go for, well, you could go for ages looking for the stuff and just not find it, or sometimes you'll find Asteroid after asteroid, that's just full of it. Ah, there we go. So there's some cobalt. So as with on the Earth planet, uh, we can just tag these using the shortcut that I showed you a while back. Hit enter, forward slash GPS. Now when I'm making waypoints for ores or whatever it may be in space, I'll add space to the front of the GPS so I know when I'm looking at my list of GPS's which one's which and where it is. So that one's cobalt. And hit enter to actually program it in. Alright, let's head back down and see if we can land this thing. So I'm going to remember to put on the where is this? Number 7. Put on our parachutes. I'm going to hit Z to balance this out so we're not drifting. Then I'm going to point at the respawn pod. Turn Z back off and then hit full burn. Heading for home. There we go. So we're going at the maximum speed we can. Heading for Earth and we're not using any power. In fact, I can even turn off my hydrogen thrusters. On the way down, I'm going to have a look at the fuel situation. In I am going to go to the magic box and put in ice. And we can see, oh, look at that. We actually used quite a lot. There's, what was it, f uh, 16? About 16K. So what if we used four, five? So we've used, oh, we've used about 11. So we used more than half getting up here. But you have to bear in mind that we're obviously thrusting a lot to get up there. And while we're flying around in space, we're using quite a bit of hydrogen when we've got our Z dampeners on. With all the stopping and starting it does use, use up quite a bit of fuel. So at the minute we're not going to be using any of that, but if we go into the control panel and put in tank, we should see our hydrogen tanks 
are both full. So I think we're going to be okay to get back. So what we're going to do is instead of having the parachutes deploy um, and just be wasted, we'll uh, maybe leave them off. Or should we test it? Yeah, let's put the parachutes on. And I'm going to double check control panel with K. Shoots. They are on auto deploy at 500 meters. Okay, so let's see what happens. Well, we're seven kilometers out. The weather's fine. Expecting a nice gentle landing. I'm going to rotate the ship so we are coming down horizontally. Let's check our virtual horizon. Nice and level. Four and a half kilometers out, so at half a kilometer, the parachutes should open. And if they don't, I'm going to hit one and two straight away to get the full thrust and see how well the ship handles it breaking. As we are now at 104 meters a second, two kilometers off. Come on, shoots. 1.8, 1 1.7, 1 1.6, 1 1.5, 4, 1 1.3. Come on, come on. It's taking into account those mountains. I don't know if it is. We're going to hit the ground. Oh, there's the shoots. So we're actually now 300 meters from the ground, but we were one kilometer away from our respawn pod. There we go. So they worked, and they worked very well. We're actually dropping now at only 8 meters a second, which is reasonably quick, but I don't think that's quick enough for us to be damaged if we hit the ground. But we don't need to do that. We're going to put the thrusters on now and turn, make sure the dampeners are on so the thrusters will hold us still. And when your ship stops moving for a certain amount of time, the parachutes automatically retract or disappear. But if I start moving again now, the parachutes will deploy again, so I need to turn them off. So just hit 7, and I can look on the bottom there and see number 7 is now off. So we're safe to fly back to the base. And there we go. We made it safely to space and back, and we even had a, a look at an asteroid, which is marked right there, 42 kilometers away. A little bit of cobalt on it if we need it when we're up there. Well, the next episode will be the last one in this beginner's guide. Boo! Yes, I'm afraid so. Next time, I'm going to show you how to add mods to the game, and we're going to fortify our base because we're going to get attacked by NPCs. Thanks again for all of your support, and please feel free to ask any questions about the game in the comments. I'm more than happy to help if I can. See you in the next episode. Feels like it should be a party. Maybe we should make it fancy dress. Let's get some practice in. Whoosh. Off with his legs. I'm out of ammo. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you later.